Hi, in this video, I want to quickly and concisely show you how to install Cloud Code. It's pretty simple, we just need this one and only command directly from the Cloud Code page itself. Of course, everything is linked in the video description. We will copy this out by pressing this little button here. Then we need something else. It's called Node.js. We have to install it so that this command can be executed at all. For that, we just download Node.js, open the package installer and simply go through this installation here. This should go very quickly. And when it's finished, you can close it and put it in the trash. The whole thing is running on a MacBook for me. But on Windows, it's exactly the same. Then we copy this command again and open our terminal. On Windows, this whole thing is called CMD. Here, simply use the spotlight search, command and spacebar, terminal. We copy this command or paste this command into the terminal and press enter. Now Claude code is being downloaded and it has already worked. If you get error codes, it's best to ask in the comments or directly to JetGPT or Claude. To start it, we just enter a Claude. And the whole thing is already starting. It just asks if we want to trust the folder. We press enter to confirm everything and are already in Claude code. Now, it naturally wants a few permissions from us. We'll just not give it those because it won't need them. And now, we can start programming right away. That's basically all you need to know. We'll make a small example of a workflow now. For this, we'll simply start a new window. And to close it, we press the control key and C, do that twice, and then it's already closed. Now I create a folder on my MacBook, just here under Documents. And then I create a new folder. I'll call it Test Claude, go into this folder, and then I have to copy the path down here. I do this by right clicking on it and copying the path name, then go back to the terminal and input a CD and then this path name. This is just normal work with a terminal. You just have to look at a few things and now we are in this folder and in this folder we start Claude code again by simply typing Claude. Then we track the folder and can start directly. We can for example say create a simple HTML page about X. This only takes a moment and here we can already see that everything is working. Here we can see exactly what Claude Code is doing. He is now doing write X HTML. This is then the website file being created. We see it creating. The whole thing has been going for 12 seconds already. 28 tokens have been used. Meanwhile, we can go into the folder. This is now the folder in which Claude Code is working and it is currently creating this file live. As soon as this file is finished writing, we will be able to see how it will appear here in this folder. So now we see here Claude has created this file and now asks us if we are satisfied with this file. Then we click on yes or yes and don't ask again in this session. It just means that we don't have to confirm every time. I'll do that now and then we'll also see that this file has been created directly. We can now just open and there we see here we have a tiny website about eggs. That's it for the video. You can do that with Claude code and that's how you install Claude code.